We all have different hobbies and things that we're interested in doing. Things we like to do in our free time. And probably the most interesting thing that I like to do when I'm not at work and I have some free time is uh, take care of my indoor garden. Um, you might call it hydroponics. And uh, I'd like to show you some of it and some of the things that I've done so far and maybe some of my failures along the way and maybe some also like some of my plans on what I'd like to do for the future. So here's a little bit about what I do uh, in my free time. I've been interested in gardening for several years but just couldn't find the time or energy to give it a shot. Then COVID came last spring and forced us to learn remotely. We were all at home way more than we typically were with many more things than school buildings closing all around us. In no time, I wanted my whole family to share the gardening experience with me. My sons enjoyed helping me plant, checking on the plants every day, and occasionally I'd let them help me water. But the most fun was harvesting and of course, eating. There's something special, something genuine about eating the food you've spent months raising and tending. So when the weather started turning colder, I switched to indoor growing. There's lots of ways to grow food indoors. I chose NFT hydroponics. NFT stands for nutrient film technique. NFT systems work by pumping small volumes of highly oxygenated nutrient solution into the grow pipes and letting it run along the bottom of the pipes. The plant's roots soak in the solution, but still have enough room to be exposed to the air in the pipes. This way, if the roots stay dry, you can avoid root rot. I learned that the hard way, let me tell you. The solution runs through one end of the pipes and around and out the other end back into the nutrient reservoir where it can be, once again, pumped back into the system. NFT systems use up to 90% less water than traditional growing, so they are incredibly efficient. I designed and built the big pipe system myself. I grabbed some inspiration from several YouTubers I had been watching, so I felt like I had a good idea. In the big pipes, I'm growing zucchini, tomato, spinach, cucumber, and Swiss chard. Swiss chard and spinach are salad crops. They're really tasty when you put them both in the same bowl and make your own salad dressing from lemon juice, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and salt and pepper. I learned that not all NFT systems are created equal. My small pipe system I bought right as the COVID shutdowns were happening. I did not do my homework on this system and realized far too late that the design was flawed. It zapped the water of the oxygen the plant's roots needed to thrive in these NFT systems. I've had more plants die in that system than I've harvested. But I've learned my lesson. I recently took the whole thing apart and am now in the process of redesigning it to work as I had originally hoped it would. The kind of nutrients are also important. I have found that these from Crop King in Lodi, Ohio have worked the best for me. There are other products out there and biotech solutions worked better when I had aquaponics in my classroom. That's hydroponics, but using live fish in an aquarium. It really is kind of cool what you can accomplish when you do a little research and try some things and don't be afraid to fail. Um, you just might succeed. And it's pretty cool uh, what I've been able to see and what I've been able to learn and how I've been able to like maybe try some things and figure out they don't work and then try something else. And this is all you know, in my free time, something that I can kind of sink myself in and enjoy. Uh, when it turns warmer outside, I do outdoor gardening like a lot of other people, but I like to do the indoor thing and I'm sure that you have things that you like to do that are unique to you. So I know that we would like to see some examples of what you like to do in your free time and we can share them, uh, share them here on the vlog. So looking forward to seeing uh, what things make you uniquely you. Thanks for watching.